Hello G Nation, it's your host G and we got a brand new character preview to do. It is the Bianca Belair toughest acrobat poster. Brand new character released today. Uh, if we have a look at the poster itself, the trainer ability at 26,000 is moves that generate leech gems will create five more leech gems and purple gem do 25% more damage. So that's a pretty good trainer ability for the leech uh, gem users. I don't even think there was a train. I don't think there was a trainer ability for leech gem users before. It was only coaches, I think. Uh, links with raw and modern era and no gear. Well, the first move set we'll have a look at is the triple blue. It is the spear, 10 MP blue, finisher deals 119.4k damage, make 28 multiply gem into blue gem and pin the opponent. The alley hoop, 6 MP blue move, deal 68.9k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. And a hair whip, 4 MP blue move, deal 51.9k damage and choose 3 gems to make into 2 turn juggernaut gem that will modify 1 by 7 a random maria into multiply gems of strength 3 on every countdown turn and increase your blue MP by 3 at the end of the countdown. Now, the trainers we're going to be using for that, we're going to use a lawler so that our blue moves uh, have a plus 4. We're going to be using Matt Hardy so that our multipliers are going to be plus 2. We're going to use the Rock so that our multiply do 5% more damage and are increased by 1. And we're going to use Santa Ogen just so that we get one more MP. And we also get uh, 3450 fixed damage on all color. Now you got a bunch of different options here. Uh, if you have uh, the new Striker Brock, uh, that was just released like two weeks ago, uh, he adds a Juggernaut Gem, so you would make three instead of four. You don't really need four though, so that's why I'm sticking with three. Uh, if you don't have Matt, you can instead increase your Blue Gem damage, that would work too. Uh, also, if this was a feud, uh, you would need here to put another Blue MP Trainer instead of that, so that you could get going on the first turn. Uh, you don't really need the buff for the one uh, extra MP from Santa Ogun, if it's a tour or anything. If it is a feud though, you do need the one MP if you want to get everything going on the first turn though. Right. As far as the belt, well, we're going to put the Alexa plate, the Pyro Princess Flaming Glove, because it adds whenever you make six or more multiply, which we're making three columns, increase your blue gem damage by 50% for two turns. And the rest is all Fury 2s, although they are not maxed and they are also not anything optimal. Ideally, you would want something that boosts your blue gem damage or your blue move and none of my gems do because I don't have good ones. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so first thing we are gonna lay down or skip. Remove the speed up. And now we are going to put our Juggernauts. Obviously my finisher is not ready, but I don't have any Juggernaut that went off anyway, so it doesn't matter. He is going to be stunned, so we're going to go with a blue match. Since so we got a blue match, we can have our stun again. Now it's pretty good because those landed on separate... Uh, it, they didn't land on any of my Juggernaut gems. They could have. That's one of the reasons why I put them one beside each other and not one on top of each other. Because if you put all of them in the same row and one of those end up being over that, you just lost all of them. We're going to put another set of Juggernauts. Now let's lay the stun. 
now we're going to use the finisher. Now the finisher is going to make a 28 multiply into blue. Now we do have only 21 right now. That is where getting the extra row from using a fort juggernaut uh, like Brock would come in handy because then you would have all 28. That being said, there's a higher chance that it overrides some of your juggernauts. And three is going to do, I'm pretty sure, more than enough. So they're all going to turn. But remember, with the pyro play, they're, the blue gems are doing 50% more. They're going to be doing 142,000, probably even more than that. Yeah, 4.4 million before gem mitigation. That did more than the 3.5 million health he had. And that ended this. So that is pretty damn good. Uh, also, really not that many things that can go wrong with this spec, so that's nice. Let's have a look at something else. Alright, second move set for Bianca. It is going to be this time the 450 splash. 5 MP purple move, deal 54.6k damage, and choose a 3x2 area to swap into green gem. The frog splash, 4 MP purple move, deal 45.9k damage, plus 87,000 bonus damage for every leech gem. And the torture rack, 6 MP green move, color submission, choose 9 gems to make into purple submission gems, and do 119k damage for 2 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into lead gems of strength 43.8k. Now, trainers, you can actually go with, well, you could actually go with no trainer and just use Santa Hogan if you have tour perks, that would work. Otherwise, you can start with Woods or you can start with uh, George Steele. I went with Woods in this case. Uh, I also put in Austin here just so that my submission damage is going to be increased by 50%. Don't really have a leech trainer to put there. Uh, the reason I didn't go with increased amount of turn is I actually want as much of those leech gem to stay on the board uh, because uh, I'm going to be using them for the frog splash. And the longer the sub, the least amount of gems are going to remain. Uh, I put in also a uh, theory so that the leech gems do 100% more damage that increase significantly the frog splash. And I put it also a set for another 25%. So it ends up with a frog splash doing 195.8k for every leech gem. Now, obviously, when you're going to try and put those purples that are kind of bent to reload your purple at the same time, you will lose some of them. So ideally, if you can just use one. Uh, to get that uh, three match and reload your purple, that'd be great. We'll see in practice. <laughs> oh yeah, for the belt, I kept the uh, fury I had, but I replaced the skill plate with the all art. Uh, it increased by 100% the green and the purple damage after the submission. Not a big deal, but it's a nice extra. All right. Just gonna put it there. Okay, now just gonna put one here. Just wasting one to get my purple back to recycle it. Of course she gets an extra turn, because why not? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight survived. And they're gonna do almost 200k each. Yep, 1.6 mil. Now we're going to put our green 
there to load for submission. And we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna grab this so that we load our moves. this both our purple is ready we're probably gonna lose a few and we got now one two three four five six seven eight nine we got ten now so that's gonna be 1.9 million and all the health he has left or she has left there you go, and now we just need a pin. Let's put it here. There you go. And that's done. Submission so prevents him from getting his moves off. Plus the leech gem pretty much give us back our ult. All right, that worked out pretty good. Let's try something else. All right, last move set we'll do with Bianca. It's going to be similar to what we just saw, except we're replacing the move that was doing damage based on the Leech Gem by the Military Press Slam, which is 4 MP green move, deal 48.3k damage, and choose a 3x3 three three Rhea to make into multiply gems of strength 3. Trainers for that, we're going to use Matt and Rock to boost that multiplier. We're going to put George Steele to start with the greens. And I'm putting in Bruno here just for extra damage on that submission. Uh, obviously, still for this, we're going to be using the all art plate we were using because that way the submission is going to make it so or green and or purple is going to be doing increased amount of damage. And we're going to have a big 3 by 3 area in multiplier, which we're going to drop the three by two of greens. So let's do this. All right, so I'm not gonna use it yet because if I use it now, by the time he's out of the submission, everything's gonna have moved around. I don't need to save as many of them as I need, as I want. Because anyway, I'm not going to be using much of the leech gems, if any. Right. Unfortunately, she got our red back. Well, I do have my submission available again. So I guess we're going to do it another time. Let's do some leech damage while we're at it. Let's do it again, get rid of our FP. Plus we're boosting our gem damage still. There you go. So now my purples are doing 27,000, my green are doing 33,000. Now we're going to pick a 3x3 three three area. I'm going to put it here. Now a 3x2 three in greens. Put it like that, that way it connects with three other greens, plus a fourth one that has a multiplier on it. Oh, 1.5 billion, that should be enough. Cycles pretty well, I'd say. I definitely still like the first one better. Second one probably better than this one still, and this is probably my least favorite of the three although it still pretty damn works. That's pretty much it for Bianca. I definitely like her. 
Uh, first moose that I love. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She's already released by now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. You guys, gee up. Ciao.